Red Zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, Fountain Car Wash and Lube, Georgia Orthotics and Prosthetics, The Rifleman, and Robin's Bed and Mattress with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. And hello everyone and welcome to the End Zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Middle Georgia's ESPN and The Telegraph. Tonight, we will have the big playoff game between Tattnall and Stratford. Tucker Sargent will have those highlights as our Game of the Week. But we start tonight with a GISA State Championship for AAA, John Millage and Gatewood. JT Wall finally got the Trojans over the hump last week. John Millage had lost in the state semifinals four years in a row, but they beat Valwood by a touchdown last Friday. The Trojans have never won a state championship, while Gatewood has won two, the last coming in 1990. To Mercer's five-star stadium for the highlights of this game, there's old JT Wall looking a little relaxed. Let's see what happens. First play of the game, Gatewood kicks it off to John Millage, and it's going to end with this hit. Ooh, that hurt right there. Maybe in concussion protocol. Look out. Trojans with the ball now. Fourth down play. And John Millage fakes the punt and gets the first down. What a nice play right there by the Trojans. Now John Millage driving. Handoff. Noah Lavender. And he's going to get it, but get knocked down. They were hitting it hard today. It's the fourth down again, and the Trojans go for it once more. Only needed a yard, and they got it pretty good. Dawson Huff with a run right there. Trojans will try for six. Trevor Evans, he's in the end zone, intended for Ford Roberts, but incomplete. Fourth down again, another trick play, but the Trojans have the pass block. Gatewood takes over on down. Second quarter now, Gators were three and out. John Millage with the ball again. Evans, the quarterback, aiming for the end zone. It's good this time. Andrew Presswood hauls it in for the score. Seven nothing after the PAT. John Millage not finished yet. They got the ball again. Evans, the pass, Jalen Seeley. For a gain right there. Then the Trojans moving along now. Evans sees his man open and goes for it. But it's just off the mark right there. Intended for Ford Roberts. They would try a field goal to 40 plus yarder, but it would be no good. Not really close, actually. And it was 7 0 Trojans at the half. But guess what? John Millage wins this one with 10 more points. It's a final now. 17 0. Congratulations to JT Wall and John Millage. They are state champs. To Fort Valley, Peach County hosted North Murray in the second round of the AAA championship playoffs tonight. Here come the Trojans, and here we go. Peach County already had a 14-0 lead. Trojans with the ball near midfield. Antonio Gilbert drops back, chunks it to Nigel Manns for a nice pickup and a first down inside the red zone. Then Gilbert hands off to the running back for six more points. Chris Gibson with the score right there. And Peach County is rolling. They would extend the lead after the PAT by Mitchell Fenrin. That made it 21 to nothing. Trojans out on top. The band was playing a lot tonight because there was plenty to play for. Second quarter now, Murth North Murray had to punt it away. And watch this, Garris Jackson. Let me tell you something, he's a pretty good prospect and here's why. This will be on his college prospect tape on all of those websites come Monday. He is gone. What a run by Jackson. Touchdown, Peach County, and they were rolling, folks. The PAT was good, and it was 28-0. The Trojans out on top. Again, near midfield, they didn't stop. They kept on going. That's what Chan Camel does. He puts the hammer down. Here's the pass. Gilbert, Jackson, touchdown, and the PA man goes crazy. I mean, they had to get medical attention for it. It's a good PAT right there, and it's 35-0. Trojans, one more score, Gilbert. To Gibson. He's going to score. Touchdown, Peach County. I'll imitate that guy. Made it 42 0 after the PAT. It's all Peach County, 49 7. Trojans advance to play Westminster as they beat Savannah. I'll have to have a coin flip to determine the home team for next week. When we come back, home playoff games for Northside, Mary Persons, and Macon County. More of the end zone right after this. Yeah! 